Now, Thomas, as is often the case, we can't concentrate purely on matters on the pitch this week. Uh, the crisis engulfing the WIU has deepened this week. We've talked loads this season already about the, the row between the regions and the union over governance, over contracts, over funding. Uh, but this week, of course, we saw this documentary on the BBC where the WIU was accused of fostering a culture of toxic sexism, misogyny. There was accusations of racism in there as well. Uh, it's been a really troubling week and loads of people have come out to condemn the revelations in that documentary. It's been spoken about at Welsh government level. The First Minister, Mark Drakeford, has condemned it. The four regions have as well. So too have several of the WIU's sponsors. Uh, it's been a very, very damaging week for the whole brand of Welsh rugby and, of course, for the victims involved in those revelations. Uh, perhaps most scathingly of all, Hayley Parsons, the, the multi-millionaire founder of Go Compare and a member of Cardiff Rugby's board, has written an incendiary letter to Yian Evans, the chairman of the WRU. We can see some quotes from it there. She's urging him to take immediate and decisive action to address the issues raised in the programme, but also against the backdrop of a long-standing and deep-rooted culture of toxicity and bullying within the WIU. And she goes on to say, as a group of individuals, the board of the WIU are not fit for purpose, and the future of Welsh rugby requires people with a capability and experience to turn this urgent and dire situation around. And we're at the Dragons, their executive chairman, David Buttress, has retweeted this and sent his backing to that statement as well. So, Tom, we're at a position now where the WIU are coming under fire from all quarters. Uh, this feels like a bombshell moment, this Hayley Parsons letter and the support that it's garnered so far. Is Steve Phillips's position untenable right now? Um, I think with everything going on, with the vote of no confidence, with Hayley Parsons, with Amanda Blanc, you're talking about two very, very successful business people who are saying that the union needs to change, it needs to be reformed. From, from the outside, we must look amateur, when we're not. You know, we're, we're a £100 million business. But what's going on now is just... It's, it's bad to see, because you're talking about um, complaints that weren't investigated properly, and they've come back now because they weren't done correctly in the first place. And more, more issues with the WU, with the culture. The culture starts at the top and it filters down no matter what organisation goes on. There has to be a level of accountability. There is as players, there is as coaches. We've seen Wayne Pivak go because results weren't right, because his, his vision wasn't correct. We've seen it before him as well with Gareth Jenkins, um, with Mike Ruddock. And now what is happening with the WIU, with the board, with the CEO? There's obviously issues there. There's issues with the agreement over budgets that were agreed 18 months ago so the regions could buy players, yet they're still arguing over that now. You know, this, this is budgets this year, let alone next year. So all of it, all of it just seems a complete, complete shambles, and we need to sort it out. You know, the WIU are investing in a, in a hotel, a long-term investment, right? It's a long-term investment, but... Why, why are we doing that when there's so many short-term issues where the money could be better spent? We need the regions to perform. Um, we, need, we need grassroot level you know, to, to feed the regions. You know, the Welsh Rugby Union's biggest asset is the players. They need the regions to, to produce players, to play for the national team. And at the moment, it's like a five-horse race, right? And there's only going to be one winner at the moment, and that's the WIU. And there's four losers, which are the four regions. It shouldn't be like that at all. It should be, it should be an even race. They should be working together. And at the moment, it just is us and them. Yeah. From the union's perspective, um, Steve Phillips insists he is the right man to stay in the job. He's come out and apologised, vowed to do things better in the future. And the chair, Yian Evans, has uh, announced a task force, an external task force, to look in to these accusations uh, and there was a statement yesterday saying progress has been made in terms of the composition of that task force. Uh, do you sense this is enough though, Tom? You know, a lot of disgruntled people, a lot of disgruntled fans, stakeholders, sponsors we've mentioned. When a, a similar scandal, a racism scandal engulfed Yorkshire cricket, the sponsors walked away. As long as this continues to go on and drag Welsh rugby into the mire, chances of the brand being damaged beyond repair are getting pretty big. Yeah, it's damaged already, completely. I, I totally agree with that. And there needs to be change. It needs to be modernised. You know, we need to modernise this. We've got amateurs in, in charge of a professional game, and it cannot be. We've had people like 
Amanda Blanc, who's gone in there, and she's just won Business Person of the Year and in the UK. And we've lost her. You know, someone with that business now, you've got everybody with a vote of no confidence in the WIU at the moment. I, there's no positive news coming, really, out of the WIU. You've got all the teams, the, the premiership teams, all the clubs saying that there's no confidence in the WIU and the board. So I, there has to be change. There has to be change.